And while the U.S. Senate is a big question mark, the U.S. House was not last night. It passed its version of the bill to raise $2,000 for those payments. Again, this goes nowhere without the Senate's approval. But it does say something about our divided government, especially since 44 Republicans voted yes and two Democrats voted no. One of those Democrats being Oregon's Congressman Kurt Schrader. This is an ineffective and poorly targeted approach to aiding Americans in distress. It is clearly a last minute political maneuver by the president and extremists on both sides of the political spectrum who have been largely absent during months of very hard negotiations. They have chosen to tweet their opinions instead of coming to the table to get aid in the hands of Americans and small businesses that need it most. Well, the congressman's never been short on words. Yet that was him on the House floor last night defending his no vote and bucking his Democratic colleagues. We had a chance to talk to him one-on-one -on -one today to go into more detail and to explain his vote to his constituents in Oregon's 5th District. We have really tried to target things to the variety of people and occupations and businesses that we have in this country. Uh, that's where we need to be putting our money. I'd like to be Santa Claus. I'd like to you know, have money just drop out of, the, out of the sky for folks, but it doesn't happen that way. You guys know that. You know, it, it's, it, we're already spending money we don't have. The $4 trillion we spent this year on COVID relief from March till now, we don't have that money. We're putting it on your kid's credit card. Don't you think we should be very careful and thoughtful about any future relief so we minimize that impact on future generations, but make sure that we take care of people now? That's what it's all about, folks, and that's what Congressman Kurt Schrader did.